Hey everyone, it's Tracy from Mama's Comfort Cooking and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade buttermilk biscuits. Let's get started. How about that? Okay, these are the things that you're going to need today. We we'll need a big bowl, of course, to put everything in. We're going to need a biscuit cutter. We're going to need a dough roll and we're going to need a pastry cutter. Okay, and then of course I just had these sitting out here, so overlook that. And then we're going to need the ingredients. What I'm going to start off with in this bowl is two cups. You can use all-purpose if you want to. If you use all-purpose flour, then you will have to really add the, um, the uh, powder, you know, uh, the cooking powder, the baking powder, the salt. So this is, um, really is four cups. I said two, but it's going to be four cups. This is a four cup one. And I'm not sure how many biscuits it's going to make, but let's get started and we'll see. So I added the Seth Rising. I added four cups to this big bowl. I'm using my hands, you guys, all right? So the next thing is going to be, this is a fourth of cup of Crisco. Okay, Crisco. Not all, but the Crisco shortening. So I've got that, and then we're gonna use some butter. So what we're gonna do is, I think I had this right here just to scoop this out for me really good. So I'm gonna scoop that out into the container, and I'm gonna let you see how it's going. How about that? All right, hope I'm good into that bowl. That y'all can see me working together and everything that I'm gonna do, okay. The next thing is, let me get this out just a little bit more. How about that? Just need to get a little bit more out. Every little drop counts. Every little step. I don't know how to make biscuits but with my hands. So now I'm going to add some buttermilk. Is that all right? Can you see in the bowl real good? You see in the bowl real good. I hope you all are seeing very good in the bowl. How are we doing over there? All right. I'm talking to my camera guy. So starting off, I'm going to start off with one cup of buttermilk. And I'm going to add in some Lando Lakes butter, unsalted. This is half a stick. And I'm going to use half of that half of stick. Is that all right? All right, let's get that in there just like that. And I guess you say, well, why is she using her measuring items? Well, that's what was right by me. I forgot to bring something over, and I want you to see everything that I'm doing. So the next thing we're going to do is add buttermilk. Buttermilk. I'm starting with one cup of buttermilk. One cup. I'm going to put my hands in here, and I'm going to start working this goodness. I'm going to work it, and if it doesn't feel right, if it's not where I want it to be, then I'm just going to add a little bit more because you want it sticky. You don't want it too stiff starting off. So to this four cups, I added one, but I'm going to add another half. Yes, that's how I like it. I'm going to let you see close up how I'm working that shortening and that butter in. Now, you can have your shortening and your butter room temperature, or you can have it cold. Today, mine is room temperature because I've been baking and I had it sitting out for the cookies. All right, that looks so good. Oh, got something on. So this is how it's gonna look before we add more flour to it. Get that off. I'm not gonna go over and wash this off because I'm gonna add a little more flour. 
I have my flour over here to the right of me. So let me get something to get me some flour out. So that I can spray my paint in. This feels good. Now even though there is just a little sticky and I'm going to get that, I'm not going to worry about it. Because I'm going to lay some more flour out. And I'm going to rub my rolling pin. I really don't have to rub mine. I have a non-stick rolling pin. So that feels good to me. Alright. So that's what we're doing. Okay. So I'm I'm really through work working my flour. Now I want to show you something. Back in the day people would just take a piece of this. Like that. They would roll it in their hands. Take their thumb. Push it in a little bit. Roll it. Push it. As you're rolling, as you're rolling, you're pushing. You take your hands, you dust them really good. As you're rolling, you're pushing. As you're rolling, you're pushing. As you're rolling, you're pushing. You're forming it to be a perfect ball. Put a little crease in the bottom. Then they would take their hands and pat it just like that. And that would be your thin biscuits and convert them to thick so that you can see the difference. Cause that'll save me some space. Take two of them away. All right, let's see. And I do not own any music, any TV, anything you hear in the background that is playing. I do not own it. All right. So these are gonna be thick, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna show you the difference. And some people like thin biscuits. My husband doesn't like his too thick. My son and daughter, they do. The thicker the better. Now I'm going to save this at the end because I want to show you what I'm going to do with it. Take the little extra off. There you go. You got a spot. Everybody happy. Everybody getting along. All right. Looks good. I need you to slide up. I need you to come over. Quit being selfish. There we go. There we go. I need a spot over in the corner. This is my biscuits, y'all. Okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make what they call a hoe cake. Now, the bread ain't no hoe, but it's called a hoe cake. So, it's the end of the bread. It's the last of the bread. And I'm going to do it like I told you before, how we used to take our thumb. And as we rolled it, we just took our thumb and we just put a crease in it. We rolled and creased. We rolled and we creased. We rolled and we creased. We just folding it. We just folding it. We just folding it. Until you get it to a consistency where it feels kind of even, even in your hand, it feels, I don't know, it feels like you can handle it. And um, I'm going to mash it with my hand. And it's a whole cake. And back in the day, my mama would take this when all the other kids had eaten. And she would say, everybody get a biscuit. And whatever was left, she made a whole cake. And she would press this thing down. My God. Fried bologna. She put it in with the rest of the biscuits. Okay. Okay, that's how that looks. Hey, Avery. So I'm going to take this real quick. I've got one more step to show you. And I'm going to melt the remainder of that butter that you saw. And I'm going to pour it all over my biscuits before I cook them. Okay, here's my biscuits. Some of them are thick. Some of them are going to be a little thin. But that's okay. And there's my big hoe cake. And I deliberately did that because everyone doesn't like a thick biscuit. My husband does not like a thick biscuit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt some butter. And I'm going to pour it over it. My oven is set for 350. And they're going to cook. I don't cook mine on 400 and 500. I hear some people say they, they cook their biscuits on 400 and 500 degrees. I wasn't raised to do it that way. There's nothing wrong with it. But sometimes people's biscuits are just so hard. So what I will do is cook mine at 350. And I've already got my oven going. And 
I add this last step. This is something I like to do. I like to pour my butter on it as it's cooking. I feel like it's made with butter. It's made with shortening. So butter on top of it can't do nothing but make it better. So let me melt the butter and I'll be right back. melting the butter and I'm getting ready to come right back around pour it over it and we'll be done can you angle right on top of those biscuits for me? get up if you have to get it close 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 all right so I melted this half a stick of butter you got it on the on the biscuits and I'm gonna pour all this butter on these biscuits. Now I'm using butter, I'm not using margarine. And I'm gonna let them cook. I'm gonna start my biscuits cooking off for about 20 minutes. If it takes longer, when I come back, I'll let you know. So I'll see you shortly on Mama's Comfort Cooking. Hey, you guys. This is Mama from Mama's Comfort Cooking. And this is the outcome of those delicious biscuits I promised you. Look at that rise. Look at that biscuit. Beautiful. This is the one that I rolled out by hand. Not too thick. These biscuits are hot though. And that's that big old whole cake. She rose to the occasion. So we've got them different sizes because I wanted to show you what a thin biscuit would be. My husband likes them thin like this. Pretty on the bottom. Soft on the top. Yes. And my kids, my daughter, oh they'll take this big one all day long. All day long. So these are the biscuits. I wanted to show them to you. I hope I help you. And thank you for watching Mama's Comfort Cooking. And remember, enjoy your life. Enjoy your family. And enjoy your food. Until next time, thanks for watching.